So helpless and so sad and so helpless. I'm watching my baby boy die. His tummy is all puffy. He can barely walk on the big fat tummy he has. And his bones are sticking out. Every single little, little spine, you can feel his spine, and he can barely walk, and he's not eating much at all, as you can see, there's a piece of donut he just choked on, everything he eats, he gags, he's very drinking very little water, he's basically starving to death. He's still going to the bathroom, a little bit of pee. And poop every now and then, but he's blown up like a balloon on his tummy. He's emaciated. He's losing all his body weight as he doesn't eat. And his body's not taking in nutrients or something. I don't know. His spine is sticking out. And he's, he's, he's looking very sad and very worried and very small and sometimes very betrayed and very hurt and other times he's very stoic and, and, and every time we come near him and pet him he's so appreciative he purrs so loud he purrs so loud to be loved yeah to be loved, my sweet Max. And when I look into his eyes, I remember all the good times and all the bad times we had together, and I cry. And then I end up dripping snot and tears all over him, and he wags his little tail. And yesterday, he, he, he wasn't, I, I couldn't see him breathing. He looked like he wasn't, Usually your cat moves when you move around and go downstairs. He looks at you or something, he didn't move. And I went over to him and I had to check to see if he was still breathing. And he was barely breathing, he was sleeping. He didn't look at me at all until I started crying and dripping tears all over him. And then he, he got up and turned around and put his little head on my, on my knee and looked into my eyes and yeah and I pet him for about an hour I sat there dripping snot all over him and myself crying and he was purring just like this yeah this my sweetheart you are my sweetest little guy I'm so sorry Maxie I wish I could take care of you better. He's got feline leukemia, according to the ASPCA, who asked if I wanted to put him to sleep. And, oh, baby. Oh, honey. Doesn't want to be on camera now. Yeah, he's turned around and put his head under there. Well, he's still purring. Oh, honey, keep purring for me. Keep purring for your lovey boy. My little sweet man. I really don't know what to do. I can't afford to take him to the vet. And if I do, they're going to say, you know, he's got leukemia. He's 
put him to sleep. It's this would be the second time, and I said I really don't want to kill him. He still has some time left, and that was the last time, and he still did. He spent a year and a half until he got sick like this. He had a wonderful time. He got to go out in the garden and, and in the sun and see other cats and, and meow at them through the fence and, oh, he's such a sweet little man. I love him so much. I'm so sorry, Max, because of all this crap they threw on us, all this parasitic Morgellon shit that you can't kill or wash off, and poor Max, he, he's gotten very, very sick very fast, just like I'm getting very sick very fast, and a lot of you are probably getting very sick. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I know my tone of voice was... I was a little angry, but it wasn't about you. No, no, it wasn't about you, honey. I love you. You're my sweetest guy. I was reading this thing where they say that when your pet dies, they go over the rainbow bridge to the fields and meadows before heaven, and they play and they help the other animals and they grow and learn and when you come and you die they look up and they sniff the air and they see you and they come running and jump into your arms and, and lick your face or whatever and then together you you walk hand in paw to th through the gates of heaven and reunited with your loved ones and Kind of like the Norse mythology. It's a nice thought. And 